Almanac and Los Angeles Homeless Service Authority, <clears throat> there at least 25% of the homeless in Los Angeles are mentally ill, and um, at least 20% are physically disabled. And that might seem reasonable, or whatever. But what is what is uh, what is shocking is that at least 40% graduated high school and at least 32% of the homeless in Los Angeles were able to receive a bachelor's degree. So these people had lives. They were people before they ended up on the streets. As you can see, people just give up and they lay on benches, they lay on the floor, wherever they could go and find a home. This isn't an easy, easy country or city to live in. We live in one of the most difficult cities, well not most difficult, but most expensive and to live in cities in the country. Los Angeles isn't easy to live in, and it shows of all, all our homeless in the streets. Um, and our problem has been growing. I, me growing up in Los Angeles, I've seen homeless my whole life. And the reason I decided to share this is because it became, it's gotten to a point where it isn't a problem. It's just an everyday situation to me. So it, when it's that bad, and I'm seeing people on the streets, and it's okay to me, that's where this is a problem. Um, um, the average age of the homeless in Los Angeles is, for men is around 40, and women tend to be around the same age or younger. And the population for women is at least 32%, with men leading the population with at least 75% of the population. And this is just Los, Los Angeles, the Los Angeles County in general. So men tend to be older than the women. So women, they get, you know, they're, 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 they need help, and they, you know, it's it's still more difficult for them to find a job or, you know, get the help like a man would. But there's still men out there that are dealing with this and can't even find a job, can't go get, can't get an education, and um, it's, it's getting bad. So when there's this many people and older people, you would think, oh, shouldn't these people have their shit together by now? But no, they're struggling and they're trying to make an ends meet as wherein younger people, it's easier for them and we don't really see them on the streets as unless they get into drugs. And that's where my next point is, is these homeless people, there's, they're either mentally ill, they can't find a job, or they're just involved with drugs. Drugs controls their whole lives and you know it, they end up cutting ties with everyone around them and they have no help so they end up on the street. And then, <clears throat> sorry. The, the population has been growing. According to L.A. Almanac again, the population of the homeless in the metro Los Angeles area, which is around downtown, the core downtown Los Angeles area, was around 11,571. And it's still rising to this day, and it's becoming more of a problem. And compared to the metro area to the Antelope Valley area, which is more of the desert in 2011, was 1,412. And the reason, the number is higher in the metro areas because Los, downtown Los Angeles has more um, services for free for the homeless, um, such as Skid Row, where it resembles a third world country and they can just lay on the streets and live there where they have safety from the police and no one else bothers them. But it's quite shocking that this is a few blocks away from like the Staples Center where they have Hollywood premieres like every other two weeks or something and it drastically changes within two blocks. So there's a problem going on in Los Angeles, and downtown's growing and advancing, and with with the advancement that's going on in our city, the homeless are also getting pushed out. They're getting they're getting cornered in Los Angeles, and they're starting to feel pushed out of the area. So they're moving into the local communities of Los Angeles, and they're trying to find homes wherever they can, such as next to the freeway, under bridges, um, in alleys. It's getting worse, and we're just avoiding it because in downtown, that's where we would kind of push them, and now they're pushing out. So it's getting worse. This was just a few years, four years ago, and the problem is rising still till this day. So if there's people on the street and we can't help them, what's going on? The problem isn't them. Their services aren't helping them. Instead, instead they're using the the services that they get for help because. People on the streets, they're used to using people. That's how they get by. They use people to move, to get stuff, or get money, live. That's their way of living. So they have no reason to 
have authority, I guess you could say. So with that, it's kind of our problem too. We have to go find a way where we can help the homeless instead of antagonizing them or feeling antagonized by them. <clears throat> Anybody can end up on the street, and that's just what I wanted my point to be. Um, the homeless, they're older people. They, you know, they're older than me. They, they, they have no help like I can. I have family. I have other sources that I can go to. But these people, they have nothing, and they're they just give up hope. Anybody would give up hope. These people aren't bad, or they don't um, cause crime. These people are just like you and me. It's just they got involved too bad with drugs or violence. Anybody could get involved with stuff like that. But you know, people just give up and one day they end up on the streets. But it's our problem too. How can we let people like us just give up and let them, or let ourselves see them waste their lives on the streets while we ignore them? There's a problem in our city and it's, it's big and it's getting bigger. And who, kn who knows, I might end up on the street one day. So I'd appreciate it if someone was aware of it or tried to help me. Thank you.